Hey guys, this is Arkel here, and I'm just going to make a uh, really awesome update video. Um, it's going to be rather long, so I apologize ahead of time. And I also apologize if you hear any sort of ambient noise. Um, we're doing laundry and stuff, it's the middle of the night. Um, but uh, hopefully, uh, Sefi shouldn't interrupt me since I put him away, so there's a bonus there. <laughs> no meowing cats in the background, hopefully. Um, but anyway, yeah, like I said, this is going to be a little bit of a rambly sort of update video, but lots of really good things, so that's really awesome. Um, but as always, don't feel obligated to watch if it gets kind of long. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, so yeah, first things first, I want to go ahead and uh, show you Faustus and Rem here. Uh, they're here because they have new face-ups, um, if you didn't notice that, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I had mentioned that I wanted to, when I had the time, redo Rem's face-up because as much as I like the company face-up, it wasn't really right for his character. And I don't know, there's some kind of like weird satisfaction that you get from like doing your own face-ups. Even if they're not really on par with like what they originally had, it still just gives you a really good satisfaction that knowing that, you know, you're working towards the right look for your own character, so that makes sense. I don't know. Um, but I'll probably redo it in the future, but it looks pretty good for now. You can't really tell as well as you should be able to, but if you can see like right under his eyes, right there, <laughs> um, it's supposed to be really red and um, really red. Um, if you don't know anything about Rem, uh, he can't sleep. He has to force himself to stay awake uh, forever, basically, and uh, his eyes are extremely strained um, from doing that. So he always has very tired, very, uh, very tired eyes, and they're always very red and kind of swollen, and always a sort of forlorn expression on his face, but, which is very sad. Um, I'm sorry, but yeah, so he looks better, I think, now. I really like his lips, but you can't really see them very well. Um, but anyway, and Faustus, I, re -de I decided to redo his face up just because I seem to be having a little bit of difficulty with his face up. I just can't seem to get it exactly the way that I want it, and I've mentioned it before, but it's because the way that I imagine Faustus, his skin, and the pigmentation in his skin to be really hard to explain. Um, but anyway, this time I actually gave him a little bit of a smirk, if you can see it. Like, I actually made the corner corners of his mouth sort of turn up a little bit, and I made his eyebrows not so, like, stern, and I actually like that a lot more for him. Um, I don't know, like, Faustus is a really hard character to explain. Um, I say that about all my characters, um, and I don't think I can explain it very well right now, but he has a very sort of gentle, easygoing personality, but because of uh, the sad fact that if he touches things, he'll burn them, he has to kind of force a sort of distance um, with people. So the stern sort of look is uh, to reflect that. But in actuality, he's a, a very easygoing, very obliging, happy kind of person. But anyway, um, so I like that now he's a bit smiley, which is really nice. I like that a lot. Just makes me want to get... Um, the two other members of his trio all the more. Um, oh, cough, cough. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so enough about them. Uh, one quick update I want to say is that tomorrow I should probably be getting that outfit that I ordered from Etsy for Rem, the really cute purple one with the little bunny hat. Um, that should be... Hopefully I should get that tomorrow, and I might do a box opening for it. I'm not too sure. If I don't, I'll definitely go ahead and show you guys what it looks like on him. I'm super, super excited about that outfit, you guys. You have no idea. Like, I've wanted that outfit for so freaking long, and I didn't even think that it would be able to be made in his size. Um, but just the fact that it can be, and it's the right color, and oh my god, I'm so excited. I really, really hope it looks nice on him. Um, because I just, that outfit is just... Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, so that's coming tomorrow. Um, I do have a few other things that are on order, but they're still in shipping, so they'll get here whenever. Um, yeah. I have one really cool outfit thing that I want to show you guys, too, that I haven't mentioned before, but when it gets here, I'll show you guys. I think you guys will really like it. Um, but the other thing that I want to go ahead and mention, and this is sort of the big thing, is that... The Unoa pre-orders for the Lucis and Cyst girls are going to start, I believe it is tomorrow. Um, 
or it could be the next day. I'm not too sure what exactly the day it is. <laughs> um, <laughs> but anyway, those pre-orders are going to start soon. And they've actually added more information on their international website now. And the thing that I was worried about was that the kits wouldn't come with the optional face plates or the optional hands. And it was really starting to concern me because I really, really, really want to get in on the Noah pre-order, but it didn't really seem worth it if they didn't have all those option parts, since it's a huge reason why I want to get that doll. Um, but they did give more information now, and at the bottom it says that all the face plate options and all the optional parts they have right now are not in the fresh skin, which is the newer skin tone that Unoa makes. Um, the normal skin tone, I should say. Um, but what they're going to do is, I guess, close their website a little bit after the pre-order period, and then they're going to like change their whole site for the fresh skin option. So I guess they're going to have all those options available a little bit later. Um, and then after they change all their site and do all that kind of stuff, they're going to go ahead and let the people that pre-ordered the Unoas from the event go ahead and add on those optional parts if they want to. Um, and it won't delay shipping or whatever, anything like that. They'll just go ahead and give, me, uh, give them the opportunity to go ahead and add those optional parts a little bit later. Um, and I'm really, really, really excited now um, because I was really worried. Like, obviously you can blush face plates and, you know, kind of make them work if you have to. But I would really rather just have everything, you know, all in the same resin tone and just all made together and ha not have to worry about it. And I'm really, really, really glad that's going to be the case. Um, I just, like... I was already really set on doing it anyway, getting the Unoa doll, but now I'm just like, yes, this is perfect. Like, it's meant to be. I'm just really, really happy about this. Like, I'm not going to explain it again. You can watch my previous video if you want to hear like, my little explanation. But this character has been, like, just uh, so difficult to find a doll for. And every time I thought about a doll for that character, this was the only one I could think of. And I never really thought it would work. So now having the opportunity where it seems like it'll work out perfectly is just the clouds are parting the heavens <laughs> the heavens are singing um so it's the coolest thing ever and i'm really 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 excited tomorrow or the next day whenever the pre-order starts i think it's tomorrow um i'm gonna go ahead and just put my order in right then um i did manage to get enough money and all that kind of stuff so i'm really really glad everything's just working out really well um so i'm gonna go ahead and put in that order really soon um and they said that the Unoas are going to be delivered around the end of March. Um, and that's pretty cool. That's actually not too long, um, which is pretty nice. The only thing that I'm kind of worried about is that I think my Lutz Centaur, um, I think that he is probably going to ship around the same time, just because Soom usually takes about three months. And I ordered like right at the beginning of January, I believe. Um, so yeah, January, February, March, yeah, the end of March. So chances are they'll probably get here around the same time, um, but we'll see. Soon is a little bit backed up, it seems, but usually their waiting time is pretty much three months accurately. Um, I would rather them be kind of a little bit spread out further. Um, I don't like to get too many dolls at the same time. I had that problem with when I got Etzel and River, even though I had ordered them at very different periods, that's just when they sort of arrived. And unfortunately, Etzel didn't really get a lot of attention when I got him because like I was worrying about getting River and then, yeah, so he got really gypped and um, didn't get a lot of attention to himself. But ironically, he's actually like my favorite doll ever. Um, I love him so much. <laughs> um, so maybe it's, I'm just worrying about nothing, but at the same time, and I love River too. Like they're my favorite dolls. Like. Maybe not my favorites, but I love them. Um, <laughs> I love them a lot. I really like my tan dolls. Like, maybe I just really like tan resin. Maybe I just like their characters. I have no idea, but I love them a lot. Um, they cause me the least problems. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I love them a lot. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to go ahead and update on. I have some stuff on order. Um, I'm playing with this little tablecloth. Um, I'll stop doing that. Um, but yeah, so I have some stuff on order and I'm going to be 
pre-ordering my Uno Assist um, tomorrow or whenever the pre-order starts. The right beginning. <laughs> I'm getting in on it. I don't want anything like to happen. Like, oh, sorry, pre-orders are over, and I'm like, no. <laughs> um, oh, I didn't also mention. I should mention what I'm going to be ordering. Like I said, you can't order the optional parts in the right skin tone until after the pre-order period. Um, but once they do let you do that, I'm going to be ordering, I think, three face plates and I think like three pairs of hands as well. Um, I want to get the little like fist hands, the little pointy hands, and the hands, like the holding hands where they kind of clasp together. Um, and for the face plates, I want to get the bully face, um, the winking face, and. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I want to get the, if they'll let me do this, I really want to get the Uno Elusis, um, Akubi face, or the yawning face, um, you guys might have watched my previous videos where I said my Grail dolls, um, what those were, and I have always wanted that face. I know that's really, really strange, and it's a really suggestive face, and you guys are probably judging me really, really hardcore. Um, but I love that face. Um, it's like my guilty pleasure doll face. It's just... Anyway, I'm not going to explain it. Um, but yeah, so hopefully if they let me order that, because it's technically a Lucis face, but the only difference between Cyst and Lucis are in the shape of the eyes um, and the openness of the mouth. The nose and the face shape and things like that are all exactly the same. So... If you have like a doll that has their eyes closed and their mouth open, the difference between Lucis and Cyst is like negligible. You can't really tell, um, which is really cool. I like that a lot. Um, but yeah, so hopefully they'll let me do that because I really, really want that faceplate. <laughs> um, I might also get the Cyst sleeping face. I'm kind of on the fence. I don't really know. We'll see. That's a lot of faceplates and a lot of money. Um, but yeah, I definitely want the wink and the bully faceplate as well. Just, I mean, in addition to the regular one, but if I can get the loose as a Kubi face, oh my god. <laughs> you don't even know, guys. I'm such a weirdo. Anyway, um, not, I'm not that weird. Please stop judging me. Um, anyway, <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much all I wanted to update on. This video is really long, I'm sorry, um, but hopefully you guys like their little face-ups and are really excited for the Uno pre-orders just like me. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, I'll tell you well, I don't know what I'll tell you guys what my plans are for that doll. I might keep it a secret for a while. I might just go ahead and tell you. I'm not sure. But I will say that half of you probably already know what I'm going to do. And half of you are probably have no idea what I'm going to do. And are going to be extremely confused and probably c confused. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know what I'll tell you guys. But sometime. Hopefully. We'll see.